Hi, it's Amanda here from Little Craft Appeal and today I thought I will show you my craft room. I promise I will do it three years ago, so uh, it's about time. And this is a very small room, so it's going to be a little bit challenging to film it, but we're going to try our best. And first I'm just going to show you uh, around, so you see more or less what I have. And then I will explain corner by corner what I have and how I organize my things. So in this corner I have most of my pencils, these are my Faber-Castell, my Prismacolors, those are the pastel sets of Holbein. I also keep here my most, some of my most used uh, tools like, well, the tweezers, some things for uh, heat embossing, my most used inks, glue, and here I have all my Nouveau jewel drops, crystal drops and glitter drops. Also, I keep my heater, some scissors, a calendar, <laughs> and um, double type, uh, double-sided phone tape. And these are some charts for my colors that I also keep here. I keep it here because it's right next to my table. This is the table that I use. This is from IKEA, and it's one of those that you can make taller or shorter, depending if you want to stand or sit. Normally, I want to to stand. But when I get tired, I use my tall chair. So here is where I work normally, where I make my cards. This is where I put my camera to film my videos. Um, and then I have another place where I work when I have to do computer work that I'm going to show you later. Now here, why do I have? Well, I have lights for, my, uh, for the filming. This is my Glimmer hot foil system. I'm not using it all the time, but I keep it here because I can have it connected. Otherwise, I will use it less. <laughs> then here I keep all my Copic markers in this. Um, I actually made this myself. <laughs> um, I think you can find this in the US pretty easily, but in Europe you don't have anything like this. So I made it myself with some uh, wood that I bought in a store here in the Netherlands. Then that's my, yeah, my 100,000 subscribers YouTube. Uh, present or I don't know how to call it and then here I just keep all my notebooks and pens because I like to write everything down here's also where I sketch when I'm going to make my cars they, this is really cool this is um, magnetic thing I don't know how to explain that um, but yeah when I'm using dice I just put them here and so I don't have them all around the table and they can get lost what else? This is some of my cards that I like and they inspire me. Then this, I I bought it from the UK. I will leave a link. Uh, the things that I know what I bought, I will leave a link for you in case you're interested. And yeah, I, I keep here all my tools, everything. So glue, um, pen glues, the sprayers, all my acrylic blocks, more scissors, foam tape, foam squares, more scissors. <laughs> yeah well this is really practical for me because it's right where i work and i can just reach for it when i need it and in this, bo in this um, box i always keep the latest uh, simon says time release that i need to use here i also keep things that i want to use that i haven't used yet and yeah about the table that i think that's it now under the table <laughs> so here i have um what's the name rust rust Rascoat, I don't remember the name, but this is from IKEA also. And here I have all my watercolors. Uh, I have my brush markers pro and all my well these are my palettes for watercolors and well, I'm gonna show you. Since I recently started learning watercolor, I think I told you that 
uh, I decided to keep everything in one place. So whenever I want to start coloring or practicing, I, I have it at hand. So here are my um, Winsor & Newton watercolors. The, um, what's the name of this? Well, I, when I'm using it, I keep the rest. I, I use this for mixing. This is a palette, right? Or what do you call this? <laughs> well, you know what it is. Uh, I also keep all my brushes in here, uh, jars for the water, and yeah, inks for watercolor, and this is soap <laughs> for your hands. And that's it. And I also keep down there all my Copic markers refills in that little box. Then next to it, I have my printer. And then this is also from Ikea. Most of my room is from Ikea. And I, here I, I have inks. I have my distress inks and some Altenew inks there. More distress inks. This is the mini blender. This is new by Simon's Stamp and it's amazing. I really like it. It blends really well. And here I have cardstock already cut to a uh, standard size so I can just grab it when I need it and also I keep I keep all some scraps and you know <laughs> more notebooks and this that is something I use all the time this is to align your sentiments when you're using the the misty yeah. now here these are my um, what's the name you can say headphones <laughs> these are my headphones i love this my husband gave them to me and i use them when i'm working to listen to music or when i'm watching some tv show while working and uh, here are my misties the big one and the small one and here i have more <laughs> more pencils i have artetsa watercolor pencils and i have the these ones that are great the caran de chez luminons Oh, and I think I forgot one drawer down there. Yes, this drawer, I have all my paste for stencils. So the embossing paste, the glitter paste. Yeah, everything I have that is for the stencils goes here and there I have everything that I need to apply it. Plus these to cut the dies that don't come uh, already cut. So that's about everything in my table. Now, here, here's where I keep my die cutting machine, just the Platinum 6, and down here I keep my most used uh, dies. Yeah, some of them are organized in plastic uh, envelopes, but then I got tired and I just keep them on their original package. Um, then here I have all the cars most of the cardstock these are for card bases and then i have all the colors organized uh here by some are organized by company but i don't really do that i mean i just keep them in their original place so i know which company they are from for example this is from simon's stuff um and also here i keep my trimmer fist cars I think I have this for seven years already and I just love it. It works super well. Here, yeah, I have more stuff. <laughs> the um, layer, no, what is the word for this? Label, Label machine, uh, some stuff for another die cutting machine that I have, the one from Tonic Studios and other more things for the die cutting machine and things that i don't know where to put i just put it here here i also have yeah i have these my scoring tool another trimmer the one by tonic studios i keep my present seal in here this i use all the time as you probably know already and also some paper and wipes for when i'm working and also here I keep the masking paper for masking, of course. And 
there I don't even know if I can show you I just have some extra things that I don't know where to put some paper more notebooks notebooks as you see I love notebooks for some reason um, and here I think I have yeah more wash paint and things for lettering that I'm not using right now so that's why they are there and back there I cannot show you but I have things I, I don't normally use but I don't want to get rid of them uh, here I have my microphone the one that I use for <laughs> when I'm doing the, oh, sorry, the voiceover um, some flowers those are for decoration and also because I use them when I'm making pictures and here just boxes and I keep more scraps here that I don't want to throw away okay what else this is my ring light I use this when I'm filming the intros and also I put it next to the table when I'm filming uh, my cards so and I point it to the to the ceiling so I have way more light here and the ceiling because it's white adds like a diffuser for the light so I love this um, and here is my computer working station which is yeah, I have my cream here also uh, it's not it's just a small table that I just wanted to separate the the spaces because I get distracted if I don't so I work in one place and I do computer work in another place uh, here I have more yeah everything to get organized my agendas pens and stickers all those things and on those boxes yeah in those boxes <laughs> thank you to my husband for correcting me um, I just give all again more things that I don't that I don't use or that are not even related to crafting and another um, tripod and these flowers I use them for my pictures normally I use only these two but I have all of these in case I want to use them uh, here this I think is a, it's called an Alex drawer also by Simon says oh yeah, sorry by IKEA and um, well on top of just keep things like this is just jewelry and things that I used and this is my friend uh, David gave it to me and then here I have lots of inks so all my distress excitings are here and I have also these small memento ones the bursa fine and I also have some uh, refills uh, here I keep everything for the glimmer hot foil system system so I have yeah all the plates and all the tools that I need and also the foil yes, I, all of these are different foils that I use um, here I have most of my Simon's stamp inks and back here is this tool that I don't even remember its name <laughs> It's basically to melt uh, the acetate when you want to make a shaker card that doesn't have any border but yeah I, as you can see I don't use it very often here I have more Simon Says Thumb inks that didn't feel that didn't, that didn't fit and I think I also have other brands here yeah I have also waffle flower and yeah that's it this is waffle flower Simon Says Thumb more blenders uh, some swatches and more inks the alcohol lift and some yeah pigment inks that I use sometimes next yeah here I keep all my sequins well not all of them but the ones that I use more often I, I love this system and I also keep in this one the um, the clear ones because those are the ones that I use the most so I keep them in this jar next to the other ones here I keep more watercolor things that I don't use as often as the one uh, that are under my my table uh, yeah these are the metallic ones by uh, fine tech that I really like some more metallics these ones were really everyone was using these ones a while ago and I also have some distress paint that I like to use for splashes and things like those and um, this uh, to to use with the paper to stick it to the surface it's really good because it doesn't um, break the paper this one uh, 
and then some wash paints here basically that's it here I have more inks and more things that I don't use that often but well I have this one that I really like the Concord 9 mini uh, inks and then I also have some um, hero hero arts I have ombre and I also have the um, reactive ones that react with water some scissors and this is a crafting mat let me show you ah. yeah. so it's a non-stick surface to use on your table so not it doesn't get uh, dirty and also you know it's water repellent so this is very practical also okay just two more here <laughs> I have lots of embossing powders, basically everything by Nuo I have here. These are also shimmer powder that you can use like watercolors more or less, Gli uh, glitter and I have lots of embellishment here, uh, like this one by Altnew and I have more enamel dots here. What? Ah. Okay, I'm here, <laughs> I forgot to show you all this. I have my, oh, this is super heavy. This is the Tangerine, this is by Tonic Studios. This is a great, great machine, but it is really heavy. And uh, unfortunately, I don't like the color so much. That's why I don't have it somewhere else. But this is really good. I mean, first of all, it's very big, so you can cut big dice with this. But also, I mean, with just one pass through the machine, it cuts everything. It's really good, it's really, really strong. And I, I like it a lot but i wish it was white instead of <laughs> orange um okay and this is just a drawer i have with things that i don't know where to put i just keep this to always have my room clean i always have to cut, have it clean um here are some uh, cables i need for technical stuff for the camera for when i'm recording and here just you know office things that <laughs> I don't know where to put okay since we are down here let's see this <laughs> this is another uh, ikea rasgot or whatever the name is down here i keep things that are not related to crafting but it's all my uh, nail polish <laughs> so because i basically paint my nails only when i'm going to make a video i keep everything here and yeah paint my nails before i film the video then here normally I keep um, card bases they are not folded but I keep them like this and so when I'm making a card just fold it and I'm ready to go and here I normally keep things that I'm using uh, from that I need to use this month or this week or whatever for example this month I was working with Concord at 9th so I keep everything here and then in this one here I keep all the sentiment stamps that I have <laughs> Yeah, sentiments sentiments down here back here also more sentiments by different uh, brands I also keep the things to cut the sentiments <laughs> and these ones that are really really practical by Simon's stamp that are ready-made sentiments you don't you just need to cut them and I use those all the time also here oh, stencils <laughs> I have so many things <laughs> and that's it about this now this other place all my distressing refills, distress oxide refills, more Nubo drops. These are the vintage drops. These are really nice. And these back here are dream drops. These are, yeah, like shiny. They're really nice too. Some mm, things to put inside your shaker cards. I don't know how to call these are sequins, but these are like embellishments, little ones by Nubo more spray paints by Nuvo uh, and then here I keep my watercolor brushes uh, the Ciclin color wheel brush and these are by uh, Artezza uh, this is just brushes that I use not for watercolor but for something else like splashes or something like that these are tools to use with your uh, pencils you know this you can use this with this and then 
basically you um, blend your pencil colors which is something I used to use a lot but now I'm not using so much these are those um, clarity stamp brushes I love I used to love this I, I see people are not using them anymore but mm, I still like them a lot they they give you a very soft look when you're blending colors and then all my <laughs> blending tools are here then this is more office related so I have all my pencils pens the highlighters more pens some washi tape yeah just uh, small things office small things and last but not least this one this is a um, I think this is a Billy Billy by IKEA also and well there I have this flat box by Tim Holtz that is great when you are doing some watercolor or splashes and so you don't get all your room uh, dirty there I just have um, things that I'm going to be using when I run out like replacement of things here I have so I keep all my heat embossing powders that I use more often the white ones and gold ones in this in this drawer and then the rest are yeah glitter perfect pearls and up there oh, sorry. I have all my what's the name of this cord yes I also don't use this very often now I used to use it a lot um, okay and I cannot put it <laughs> okay then here I have some books uh, these are language related books but I also have the sign I have this one that is the one that I'm using now to learn about watercolor I love this book it's really really well explained and also it's beautiful as you can see and I also have yeah I, I it's a mix of, of books and stuff that I have here also I'm using this one to learn I'm oh, sorry it's like here doesn't matter this is to learn how to draw uh, flowers and things like those here I keep the latest cards that I have made uh, then all of this is just stamps so here I have more um, sentiment stamp well it's a mixture of stamps but mostly sentiment stamps here I have all my background stamps this is flower stamps <laughs> uh, and down here I have more like creatures and you know gnomes <laughs> things like those that are not flowers basically yeah this is all the same it's just stamps I don't have it very well organized by theme just uh, I separate by brand but I just keep it like that and down here the same just more these are most of these are already um, discontinued they don't make these ones anymore but these are some of my favorites that even though they don't make them anymore I just love them so I want to keep them and yeah I have mama elephant lots of mama elephant waffle flower yeah and some my favorite thing my favorite things and down here I keep um, my tripod my camera this is the camera I use for making my pictures and also to film the intros and here I keep some of the dice that I don't keep in the other place uh, so yeah this is very practical these are by tonic studios also this organization um, envelopes and yeah I like it to keep it like this and I actually have more here in this huge place so here yeah I have all the these are to make envelopes and here I just have lots and lots of dice some of them uh, yeah are very old but yeah. and then back here I don't know if I have my photo boards uh, these ones these are the ones I use to make oh, sorry I'm gonna show you one to make my my photos like my card photos so I put the the, the card here I put some decoration around and I make the picture from above and I have plenty of them I really like this one and I the company is from the UK and they used to 
dissent to the rest of Europe and now with Brexit they're not doing that anymore <laughs> which is very sad and yeah here I have more mats the waffle flower watercolor mat one by spell binders I have several and this is the one that I normally use on my videos and I like to keep it here and clean and I think that's it right so that's it <laughs> that's uh, my craft room I hope you like to see what I work and uh, I will try to leave links to some of the things that I I have here but anyway if you have any doubts or you want to know something that I have and I haven't mentioned in the comments that just leave me a comment and I will try to answer to your questions okay so that's it thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you again soon bye